Welcome back to part two of my Passport Plus unboxing. So if you watched my first video, I unboxed a Passport Plus from Chic Sparrow to see if it fit or worked with the Create With Pen super chunky little passport notebook. And size wise, it actually does. It works really, really well, which I was very excited about. But the notebook cover that I was sent was inadvertently sent in the wrong color. So what I had ordered was the March leather from March of 2022. It's one of their special monthly edition leathers and it comes in three colors and two of them, Damien and Diego, are kind of similar. One's more brown and one's more burgundy, but I had ordered Diego and they had accidentally sent me Damien. So after I filmed that video, I emailed Chic Sparrow and let them know, sent them photos. And when they were back in the office on Monday morning, they wrote me back and said that yes, they had sent the wrong one. They apologized. They sent me a return slip to send back the wrong one and they immediately shipped out the correct one. So this is the correct one. So we're going to open it up and check it out. I did find my scissors in the meantime, which is great. So I'm able to actually open it up with scissors but let's check it out. So still got the product warranty card. And then I took out my packing slip since that has my personal information on it. And here's my cover and we are going to check it out. This will probably be a pretty quick video since we already checked out the other one, but oh, oh, it's so pretty. It has some little fuzzies on it from the dust bag, but it's so pretty. So one of the reasons that I really love Diego is that it's very similar to Drummond from the Austin collection, but it has these dark coloring variations on it that I think are really, really pretty. It might be kind of hard to pick it up on camera just because it is such a dark color, but it reminds me of like an old doctor's bag. I just really love the sort of deep burgundy brown color. And although Damien, the one that I unboxed in the first video, is gorgeous. I mean, the, especially the piece that I got. It was so pretty. But I really wanted this color. And so I'm really excited that they were able to get that fixed for me and get that sent over. I'm not sure if the color variation is like picking up for you guys so you can really see it but the way it works is it's kind of similar to an Austin Drummond in color but then it has these sort of dark black almost kind of um hand rubbing or distressing on the leather and I just think it's really really pretty so this is a passport plus it is a traveler's notebook it has the secretarial pocket and the pen loop that I love and then it has six elastics, four holes, six elastics. So you can really chunk this up if you use inserts. I don't use that many Passport inserts together. So I never use Passport Plus. I actually have one that I bought for a specific purpose that's in the Waypoint leather. And then this is my second one. And really the only reason that I bought this is because I thought it might work with this, which like I said, I checked and it does. So I'm going to try to find uh, maybe a ruler will work. I was going to use a butter knife, but I don't have a butter knife at my, at my desk. But I'm just going to slide this around the edges where the stitching is just to kind of loosen up any glue residual that's there. Because the way I had intended on carrying this was slipped into this back pocket. And if you loosen up the glue or that little excess glue, you can get it, you know, farther in there and it will be a better fit. So that's kind of how I had intended to carry this. And then that way I could put like a dashboard with something cute on it and use the pockets of the dashboard for function. And I could carry it together like this. I am going to have to kind of break in this spine. I'll probably try to square it off, actually. Um, I like a, a squared off spine, but it's a really stiff leather, so I'll probably have to do that. So the way that I square off a spine, just in case it's not something that you've done, um, everyone is different, but I will take the notebook and I will lay it on the edge of my kitchen counter so that the edge of my counter, like the pointy edge of the counter, is underneath right past this um, hole 
this last hole and then I will bend down so that that way I can make a nice straight edge there and then I'll do the same thing on this side and then I will put the notebook in it kind of in the center probably on an elastic and then I will just kind of use my hand and smush down the spine try to help make that squareness and kind of soften up that spine so that's probably what I'll do I'll show pictures on Instagram and here in the community tab once I have it squared off like what it looks like but you can use it like that and then let me get it back out you can also put it on the elastic so you can just you know pick as close to the center as you can find it doesn't have to be perfect and then you can pick an elastic and you can slide it on close it up your pen loop will bend in it takes a little bit of training, but you basically just kind of bend it a little bit. I always bend mine back and forth just to kind of soften it up some, but you just kind of bend it in like that. Sorry if I bumped the camera. And that softens your pen loop up so that it sticks there. So then if I had a pen, and this isn't the pen I would carry with this because it's a little big for a passport cover. But then if I had a pen and I had my dashboards inside there and it would be nicely chunked out my pen would sit in there and the more you kind of bend it and soften it the more it will be trained to stay in i have some covers from chic sparrow with this pen loop and the pen loop is i mean like flush in there it's perfectly trained and then i think but i probably won't be able to get to work on this video but I was thinking that this might fit. It's going to be really tight. I actually don't think it's going to fit. I had hoped that you could actually get it to fit here on this side as well, but I don't think that's going to be the case. You could, of course, trim the cover down some, and that would definitely help. So like if you trimmed like, you know, a teeny tiny amount, like a millimeter off, then I think you could actually get this in there because if you see it's super super close and so either with a little bit of elbow grease or with a little bit of trimming you might be able to get this in there and actually without trimming and just oh, a little bit of finagling I can almost get it all the way in there. I just need to stick a butter knife in there or um, a letter opener to kind of loosen this up a little bit and stretch this leather out just a little bit for the pocket. But then this little passport guy would fit in the front and you could use him that way. So you could have this for functional stuff if you wanted. You could have inserts or dashboards here and then you could have your little chunky notebook in the front. I don't like, oh, now I can't get it back out. I don't like my chunky notebooks in the front as much. In a folio where the notebooks are the same size, where both notebooks are the same size, I'm okay with having one in the front and one in the back. But in a traveler's notebook, I like to be able to have access to these pockets for function and or decor. So I prefer that my chunky notebook goes in the back and then I'll put some stuff on the elastics and I'll have a cute little chunky notebook to carry around with me or to keep on my desk or whatever it is that I want to use it for. But that's my video. I just wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, I do have custom folios. These are actually tri-folios from Sojourner. I have two of them that were custom made to fit the Create With Pen passport cover. And I really love these. But when I was using this one day, my, actually my other one because it's at work, when I was using it, I was thinking, I wonder if they fit in a passport plus Chic Sparrow, and they do. So that's why I had bought one because I wanted to kind of experiment and share it with you guys. And it's so pretty, and I really wanted to buy this Diego leather from the March 2022 leather collection. Like I said, this is like a limited edition leather collection from last March. They were doing these monthly releases for about half of 2022. They did a special leather launch each month. And so whatever's left is what's left. Like they're not going to restock. So if you like this leather or if you like the Damien from the first video, which I'll link up here, definitely go on and snag one because they won't be around forever. 
But that's my video on my Passport Plus Diego from the March collection from Chic Sparrow. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.